Hi friends! Um, so this is my first video in a few months um, after we went into lockdown in Austin um, and I had to have my son home all the time and it was just a lot. <laughs> so I decided to kind of stop making new video content because it really did take a lot of my time to make a plan. What are you doing, Rich? and um, edit and all that kind of stuff. So, found a rhythm, figuring things out. Um, it had been long enough that I um, misplaced the charger for my camera battery. <laughs> so, we're doing this on my phone today, which is exciting. I hope the quality is okay. The sound is okay. I'll try to fix it in post if it's not. Ooh, we'll see. Um, but I wanted to show you some pin mail. I got some Halloween pins and lots of cute stuff and I wanted to show you what I got. First things first, I got a couple of charity pins. So this one from Kitty Knot is um, the Fight for Love and Justice, <gasps> the Sailor Moon and I love her. And then this one is from Be Magical Studio. I really like this Rise Up, so good. And then 100% of the proceeds from those go to um, like Black Lives Matter organizations. I don't know if it's specifically to them or other organizations. So um, that's awesome. Hmm. Um, I know Kitty not raised a ton of money with that one because it's perfection. I got some stuff from Huawei Studios. <laughs> oh, there's a cat battle over there. Um, she sent a couple of stickers. Look at these little babies. Look at their little alien bottoms. Look how precious. Aren't these just the cutest? <gasps> Her style is so funny. I just think it's just so cute. I got a couple of pre-orders from Mamobot that I actually forgot about. And then they showed up a while later. Um, but I have a Sailor Moon. Whoa, gotta get used to this phone situation. And a Sailor Venus, Sailor Beam. I love Venus and Sailor V. She's like my favorite. These are my two, these are my girls. So I was really happy to get these. I thought they were gorgeous. Um, also, I don't know where to look. Looking right there at you, looking at you. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, I keep seeing all these super cute people with all their like really cute weekly vlogs. And I'm like, how do you have time? And you set the camera up and you have these cute angles and like all this really great B-roll. And I'm like, here, I'm just going to sit on my couch and you can listen to me ramble for a while. <laughs> Got some stuff from Emin Sprout. She is the queen of Halloween. I have tons of her Halloween stuff, but these are just the new ones. There's Plague Doctor. Ooh. Should take these out of plastic so you can see better. Um, and we've got this sweet little baddie, and it's got fun little star little backing clutches. And I really like this phases of the moon. Isn't that pretty? Also, um, these boards are very full, so we'll do a video soon of me fixing that. <laughs> yes. Okay, what am I talking about? Shark City Slickers next. She's local to Austin. This is Carla. Look at this little glitter friend. Look at this little face. <laughs> I love them. And she's got a little glitter bat and a sweet little kitten. Look how cute. I think her style is so fun. It's just so fluid and full of personality. And I just think that's really, really great. Now I ordered, I think most of this like giant rush came from, I started, I ordered some stuff from Blush Sprout. Who we all know. Super cute. Look at this. Cause I think she, she was selling out of this one or this one was like limited edition. I don't know, but I needed it. Also look at this candy corn frog. Can you deal? I can't deal. Oh, and then these little exclusive, this little pink fox baby and this little kitten. I love it. I just thought this was so pretty. 
And then there's a little ghosty brand. I have a pretty great ghost collection already. So I'll have to add that. She does these um, like collector cards. Isn't that fun? And I just think they're so pretty. I love it. Everything she does is like so, I don't know, polished. I think that's the word. It's just so cute. Ugh. I got a couple of some little stickers from Rather Keen. Their stuff is fun. They just moved to Tucson and I love all of their like home decor stuff and their neighborhood is gorgeous. It's like desert and mountains and it's just really fun to, to creep on. <laughs> I got this from Ann Shen. She put up, this is the very last one she had and she put it in stories and I jumped on it so quick. So she must think I'm kind of a creep, but I don't care. Okay, that was the first little box. Now I've got, bloop. I just found this shop called Mamoki and she's in the UK. What's her logo? How can I not love this, you know? Um, but she had, I I think I was looking for earrings on Etsy because I wanted some new stuff. Look at this sweet little box. Let me open it up. Aren't these so pretty? She hand makes these and I loved how like glittery and pastel-y iridescent rainbow-y they were. And they're really light, which I love. Um, I think they're clay. These are so pretty. Um, and then she also had... Black Lives Matter pen, which the colors were perfect. You can't have enough. And then she sent this little extra. Next, I have another amazing black artist. Um, it's Mia. And she is from Self Love Tool Chest. And she had to say their names pen. Which of course I'm going to support and then you're allowed to eat all foods so it's true I've got a lot of mental stuff around food I had an eating disorder when I was in high school so um it's always been like a constant thing for me in the back of my head it it really waned when I was pregnant because I really felt like my body was doing what it was supposed to so I was like really okay with it then but it always creeps in I'm sure eh. People can agree, <laughs> can relate. Uh, I'm happy to talk about it more in depth later. If you're interested, um, I'm an open book, so. Um, and then she had a self-love tool chest and doodle by Meg, power to the people. Look at this. I love it. Love it. And then I love snacks. I love Mia's attitude towards things and her, how empowering she is to people. And I think it's amazing. She's doing really great work and making really cute stuff. Oh yeah, she also has some like little friends. Some little, let me take them out of the little bags. Mooch. Okay, so my cat Mooch just dug under the carpet here because I have a little rug on the floor. And she came out with, I have like little crinkle cut paper that I put in my orders now and she was like dead set on finding it and killing it because she is a warrior. <laughs> um, look how fun. He's so cute. Again, from Nia. Love him. We have Danielle V Designs. I've been following her forever and I realized I didn't have like my favorite pins of hers. Like it just seems like you see them all the time. I'm like, oh, I totally have that. No, I didn't, but I rectified it. Um, and she came out with these cute little Halloween friends. Look at these little kittens. Here, I'll put them like that. And we just got, um, well, she just kind of appeared and we took her in a little black cat. Um, my son named her Chair. At first, well, first he named her Mud. And then I convinced him, like, maybe something else. And then he goes, oh, Chair. I was like, all right, four-year-old brain. Her name is Chair. And then I started calling her Cherry because I wanted something cuter. Um, so now she's, her full name is Chair Cherry Marceline uh, Blepperson. Because <laughs> I'm cool. Because she has these two little fangs that, like, poke out. She's so cute. Um, so that's where the Marceline came from, if you like Adventure Time. And then she bleps a lot with her like super pink tongue. <laughs> it's 
she's so cute I love her she just like she'd been coming around for months and months and then we ended up like I would feed her every single day and then she started to just like hang out on our porch all day and like I had seen her crawling up under cars to get away from rain and I'm like I cannot let this happen and so I finally kind of coaxed her in and now she's ours and I love her she's turned into a lap cat it makes me so happy and the other cats it took them a while to warm up obviously but I did all of like Jackson Galaxy's kind of stuff about introducing cats and he's he's always right about cats so anyway that's my cat story and then this is the classic David Bowie cat that she has which I needed and then look how precious sweet little unicorn kitten I love it and then we've got this I'm going to make it through this year if it kills me um it's been a hard year and we've been very fortunate that no one that we know around us has been affected by COVID physically um which of course is a blessing among blessings but there's so many people who can't say that and my heart goes out to them and we are still very much quarantined we don't go out we don't go to stores we don't go to restaurants um i wear my mask whenever i go out like um and by go out i mean go to like heb or target curbside <laughs> you know or to drop off my packages at the post office in the back with no contact like we are very much um trying to abide by everything the scientists are saying to keep other people safe and it's important and a lot of times like I'll get really frustrated and feel like oh all these people are going out people are going on vacations and like I wanted to do traveling this year and you know we had plans to to do other things but I just feel like the general health of other people <laughs> and me is more important so we are staying put and we're okay with it. Uh, go through ebbs and flows. Obviously, there are days when I'm like, I got this. This is great. Um, I can handle it. And days when I'm like, I cannot be in this house any longer. Uh, I need to do something. <laughs> but, you know, we do what we can. And I appreciate everyone who is being safe and wearing their masks because you're amazing. I'm hoping maybe I'll have some masks in the shop um, early next year because it's hard for me to find ones that I really, really like. So I figured I'd just make them myself. Um, but yeah, she sent over some fun stickers. Look how cute. Ooh, Freddy. Ooh. She's so cute. Um, all right, let me show you my Halloween pins. I keep <laughs> in the wrong spot. I'm terrible at this. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here are my new Halloween pins. I only have seconds left of this one because it um, it sold out. I haven't sold out of anything that quickly before and I was grossly underprepared. So there will be a lot of new Halloween restocks at Christmas time, but people are spooky all year long, so it doesn't really matter. But there we go. That's good enough. A little Halloween wreath to go with the Halloween tree. The tree will be back in stock soon too. It is, oh, there it is. I do have it. Come here, you. These work at Christmas time too. Ooh, where am I going? Hello. Yeah, so I love these. We have a little pumpkin friend. It's a pink glittery pumpkin. I make these every year. I put something new on top of a little black cat's head. <laughs> just the thing I do. Oh no. The faces have changed throughout the years, but I went back to the original face because I don't think I can do any better than this. This is like peak cat face for me and I love it. I did a few more like new colorways of some pins that um, I've done before. I'm very distracted. You see how long my hair has gotten? <laughs> I thought I was having a pretty good hair day today. Yeah. Um, but I did new colorways of the little jelly bean kitten. We've got a black one to go with a pink one. And then this one was uh, white with pink, but we made it all sparkly and a little black cap. Which is great. And then I did a new version of 
The internet friends are real friends. I still have some of the glitter version, but I just wanted to kind of play around with the composition and, and color and screen printing and recess metal and all that stuff. So I thought that would be a fun one to play with. And I think it turned out really great, to be honest. And then the Peachy Cat is back. This one was a fan favorite. It was a pin club exclusive. So once the original colorway sold out, I mean, what can you do? But uh, add glitter <laughs> and add it to your permanent collection because I'm so glad people are super into it. Um, and that's about it. I started making soap. Do you want to see my soap? Okay, here are a couple of bars that I made. I have this one that's got like a glittery top. Isn't that fun? It smells like lime, I think. And then these are like my, my favorite kind of thing. I did drop swirl with three colors. And then this is one with two colors. That's an end piece, but look how cool. I made this. I made soap with lye. I followed um, royalty soaps instructions. She has a whole like series of videos about how to make soap. So this has been like my quarantine adventure. So I'm actually going to put some of it up for sale in my shop soon. That's so good. This one smells like yuzu. Um, and this one, I have, um, I have a video on my Instagram if you want to see. It's like my last IGTV of me cutting into this soap the first time. And uh, I said it smelled like a cute boy, and it really does. It's a very like masculine cologne kind of smell. But yeah, I have a few more bars. I'll probably do another like, um, like cutting video for those. But I love it. It's been my my quarantine hobby, and it's been really nice because like working from home, I've I've been working from home for years, so that's nothing new. Um, but with all the changing and not being able to do anything on the weekends or like really go out and see friends for lunch and and stuff like that. I've been feeling kind of cooped up and not very creative. So having soap be this like completely different creative medium, like I still get to use like my color sensibilities, but um, I'm making something very different from what I do now. <laughs> um, and it's kind of like when I got super into the fluid art paintings, um, which are super fun. I think I talked about them in another IGTV video. I have a picture of one of my small ones. Um, but it's this thing where like you kind of, you have creative control over a lot of it, but so much of it you have to leave up to chance. Like you can't, you physically can't control certain things. And as someone who likes to have a lot of control, um, it's good for me and it's good for my brain <laughs> to be able to let stuff go. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get back into more regular posting now. Um, I miss you guys. I miss being on YouTube and, and hollering about it. And before I forget, um, Enamel Pins 101, my e-course all about how to make your own enamel pins and start a pin business, um, is the doors are opening again and I'm going to have early bird pricing. So if you're watching this when it uh, goes up. Um, I'll have the early bird pricing from Friday the 30th to Monday the 2nd. Um, and then after that, it'll be regular price and just kind of available. Normally, I would close the doors and work with students, but like I really feel like, I don't know, it just feels better to me to not close the doors because I don't want anyone to miss out or have to wait. Um, I, I updated a ton of the content recently, and I really hated the idea that people couldn't get in and use the original content, which is still amazing. Like I just added to it. <laughs> um, and I don't want anyone to miss out um, on the information because I think it's really valuable if you want to make enamel pins. It's literally everything you need to know about making pins and selling pins and growing a successful business. And I even have stuff in there that's not related to pins. It's like really just business planning, planning product launches, and then we have our groups that are like, the group is incredible, the people in here. And I do my monthly live coaching calls, which is super fun. So 
you get to ask like your personal questions and get people's eyeballs on your stuff and we all just want to support you and we want you to succeed and and it's awesome so um i'm not going to close the doors again uh, but i will have a special early bird price this weekend so if you're watching this early then awesome if not um still awesome because there's tons of great content and um i'm excited to be able to have it available all the time for you so on that note uh yay happy halloween thanks for hanging out with me Woo okay bye <laughs>